And read that off duty officer was rushed here to UMC. We are told, as you heard the assistant sheriff say, he will be okay. His injuries, though, a reminder of those split second decisions that officers are forced to make even while off the clock. Boy, you mean the shooting boy? They, they shot him, yeah. That was scary, huh? Barbara Cavaricci says it's hard to explain to her three-year-old grandson. He was trying to help somebody and he, they shot at him. The cops and yellow crime scene tape in front of her home. And then I learned that there was a shooting so close to my house here, so it was quite frightening. It happened around 1130 Wednesday night near Decatur and Gowan. According to Metro Police, an off-duty officer saw a group of people surrounding one person. To try to defuse the situation, he walked over to them. That's when someone pointed a gun at the officer who was armed with his off-duty weapon, leading to an exchange of gunfire. After the officer and suspect shot at each other, the injured suspects took off in a car only to be arrested downtown some 10 miles away. That he was just trying to stop something. Vicki has lived in the neighborhood for 30 years and says she's seen change, most of it bad. We've had a lot of transient people uh, walking around. I've asked for more patrol, but these side rural streets are very unlit and there are people roaming all over. You tell them that you saw the police cars out here? Back at Barbara's home. That's really scary. The thought of, I mean, that was really close for to have that gunshot. I mean, it could have been a stray bullet go through my house. She admits she no longer feels safe in the one place she thought she was. I think Gigi needs to find a new house to live in somewhere a little off the beaten road. So we're told three suspects in total will face charges. Out of those three suspects, two were treated here at UMC for gunshot wounds. Reporting live tonight at UMC, Kelsey Thomas, News 3.